Good evening and welcome to our evening prayer. It's been um, a day of contrasts. We had this morning uh, the funeral of uh, Teresa Nunes. And this afternoon I had um, a long meeting uh, about the provision of youth work uh, in the parish. They appear uh, to be a contrast, but of course, uh, <coughs> in many ways, it's the classic seamless garment. When we were baptised, uh, when you look at the prayers, they all look uh, to that journey through this life to the kingdom of God. We're reminded that we are all children of God and that this is a pilgrimage uh, as we pray that we will return to him. One of the things we're reflecting on uh, in youth work is that it isn't uh, compartmentalised. That it is indeed uh, for the whole family, the family particularly of faith. It's not that I was baptised in a historic moment and that now I've moved on. But rather the language we should use constantly is, I am baptised. Reminded too that I think actually First Communion is slightly uh, mis uh, misnamed can be that sense uh, that we make our first communion and it can remain singular at least for a while. And we need much more of a sense that we join the Eucharistic community who gathers uh, daily and certainly each Sunday uh, for the celebration of the Eucharist. Confirmation, not a singular moment, not just last Sunday afternoon, uh, for the Guildford uh, young people, or indeed this Sunday, we keep them in our prayers uh, for Godalming, um, Bramley, um, Cranley, uh, and Hazelmere. They are uh, part of what will be uh, our parish, but the gifts that they receive are not just for them in this moment, but they are for the whole community that we may be increasingly built up by those gifts of the Holy Spirit. The marriage, uh, a great witness to the world of that ongoing love of a couple. Vocations to priesthood and to religious life, similarly a witness to that ongoing commitment. All these things come together into that one pilgrimage. We begin a baptism and which we pray continues into the kingdom. So this evening we pray uh, wherever we may be in our journey of faith, whichever of the sacraments we may yet have received, we pray that we will have that sense that gathered as a community of faith, we direct our pilgrimage towards God and we follow that gaze of Mary which was constantly fixed on him. <coughs> The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it done unto me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh and dwelt amongst us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ thy Son was made known by the message of an angel, may, by his passion and cross, be brought to the glory of his resurrection, 
through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, come to our aid. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Alleluia. Day is done, but love unfailing dwells ever here. Shadows fall, but hope prevailing calms every fear. Loving Father, none forsaking, take our hearts of love's own making. Watch our sleeping, guard our waking, be always near. Dark descends, but light unending shines through our night. You are with us, ever lending new strength to sight. One in love, your truth confessing, one in hope of heaven's blessing. May we see in love's possessing, love's endless light. Lord, keep my soul from death, my feet from stumbling. I love the Lord, for he has heard the cry of my appeal, for he turned his ear to me in the day when I called him. They surrounded me, the snares of death, with the anguish of the tomb. They caught me, sorrow and distress. I called on the Lord's name, O Lord my God, deliver me. How gracious is the Lord and just, our God has compassion. The Lord protects the simple hearts, I was helpless, so he saved me. Turn back my soul to your rest, for the Lord has been good. He has kept my soul from death, my eyes from tears, and my feet from stumbling. I will walk in the presence of the Lord, in the land of the living. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Lord, keep my soul from death, my feet from stumbling. My help shall come from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. I lift up my eyes to the mountains, from where shall come my help? My help shall come from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. May he never allow you to stumble, let him sleep not your guard. No, he sleeps not, nor slumbers Israel's guard. The Lord is your guard and your shade. At your right stand, side he stands. By day the sun shall not smite you, nor the moon in the night. The Lord will guard you from evil. He will guard your soul. The Lord will guard your going and coming, both now and forever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. My help shall come from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Your ways are just and true, King of all the ages. Great and wonderful are your deeds, O Lord God the Almighty. Just and true are your ways, O King of the ages. Who shall not fear and glorify your name, O Lord, for you alone are holy. All nations shall come and worship you, for your judgments have been revealed. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Your ways are just and true, King of all the ages. <clears throat> from the first letter to the Corinthians the hidden wisdom of God which we teach in our mysteries is the wisdom that God predestined to be for our glory before the ages began it is a wisdom that none of the masters of this age have ever known or they would not have crucified the Lord of glory we teach what scripture calls the things that no eye has seen, no ear has heard, things beyond the mind of man, all that God has prepared for those who love him. These are the very things that God has revealed to us through the Spirit.
Christ died for our sins that he might offer us to God. In the body he was put to death, in the spirit he was raised to life. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Remember your mercy, O Lord, according to the promise you made to our fathers. My soul glorifies the Lord, my spirit rejoices in God my Saviour, He looks on his servant in her lowliness. Henceforth all ages will call me blessed. The Almighty works marvels for me. Holy his name. His mercy is from age to age on those who fear him. He puts forth his arm in strength and scatters the proud hearted. He casts the mighty from their thrones and raises the lowly. He fills the starving with good things, sends the rich away empty. He protects Israel, his servant, remembering his mercy, the mercy promised to our fathers, to Abraham and his sons forever. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Remember your mercy, O Lord, according to the promise you made to our fathers. Christ comforted the widow who'd lost her only son. Let us pray to him who will come at last to wipe away every tear from our eyes. Come, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus, you consoled, especially the poor and troubled. Look with mercy on those in any kind of need. The angel brought you the Father's comfort on the eve of your passion, We pray that your comfort may strengthen those who are dying. Let all exiles know your care for them. May they find their homelands once more and come one day in joy to the Father's house. Look in love on all those whose sins have separated them from you. Reconcile them to yourself and to your church. The dead suffered the pain and loss of human life. Give them the fullness of life and joy in heaven. Elma asks that we might pray uh, for Karen and Nick Braganza Langstaff, whose wedding anniversary is tomorrow, July the 13th. Anne asks that we might pray for the soul of her late husband, John Whiteman, whose 19th anniversary was on the 11th of July yesterday. May he rest in peace. And we pray for Anne and their family that they too may have peace. We pray for the soul of Teresa Nunes, whose funeral was this morning. We pray as the NATO conference has come to an end that there may be justice and peace throughout the world. We pray for the souls of Pat Woodbridge, Sambath Naidu, and Joan Kennedy. And we pray for the anniversary of two priests of the diocese, One that falls tomorrow, Father Len Turner. And one that falls on Sunday, Father Francis von Weyrotha. And we pray for the whole diocese on our pilgrimage of faith that we may take comfort and inspiration from the word who is life. 
May all the people of our diocese grow in openness to the power of the Holy Spirit so that through a growth in understanding and courage and truly open to your call, we may bear powerful witness to all around us. For you are Lord forever and ever. Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us pray. Lord God, the cross reveals the mystery of your love, a stumbling block indeed for unbelief, but the sign of your power and wisdom to us who believe. Teach us so to contemplate your Son's glorious passion that we may always believe and glory in his cross, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. And the Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Thank you for being part of the prayer this evening. As I've said many times, perhaps most evenings, incredibly important ministry, often perhaps overlooked in the busyness of each day. And may the Lord grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy. Hail, our life, our sweetness and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this veil of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us. And after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. St. Joseph, pray for us. St. Pius, pray for us. St. Edward, pray for us. 